Greetings everyone. This is another part of our series EEG MLDL. In this series we were learning that how we can do EEG classification using machine learning or, or deep learning. In different parts we have seen that how to do 1D convolution neural network, how to combine 1D convolution neural network with LSTM both using PyTorch Lightning or Keras. In this playlist we have also seen that how we can read different data sets such as data set from MATLAB file, data set from data set such as motor imagery data and data set from EDF file. Now we are going to see how to read data from CSV file because most of the viewers have asked me how we can read data from CSV and how we can use ImageNet weights for EEG data set. For that purpose we need to use convolution neural network that is 2D convolution neural network and we are going to use pre-trained models such as ResNet, TenseNet, FCNet and ImageNet based models. The data set I am going to use is EEG data distance learning from Kaggle.com the data set state that whether the student understand the lecture or not. They capture the EEG signals while students are watching the video lectures and they try to predict whether they understood or not. You can read the experiment here and the data is available here. The file in which, in which I am concerned is egdata.csv. This has around 87 columns. The first two columns are video ID, subject ID. And next 14 are basically the raw EEG sensor channel. 17 to 86 are basically 5 brain wave for each sensor that is alpha, beta, gamma, delta and theta. And the last column is whether the is the label column basically whether this subject understand the lecture or not. What I am going to do is that the first my, my first step will is to remove this five brain waves for each sensor and just to keep the first two channels the next 14 channel it means that first 16 channel and the last channel but before that let me show you a glimpse of code this is a whole code and this time I'm not going to write code while recording the video but I am explaining a pre-written code because writing code while recording takes a lot of energy and I am low in that energy and by the way let me know that in comment that whether I should write code while recording or I should explain a pre-written code this will help me to make further videos that which approach should I choose the first step is to install some libraries such as SqueezePy, Tim, PyTorch, Lightning are you are familiar with PyTorch Lightning because we have seen that in the section 3.7, 3.6 I believe in, in the chapter 3 maybe. But the, what is the purpose of SqueezePy? To use 2D convolution neural network we have to convert our data. We have to convert our signal into image. For that I am going to use the SqueezePy library. This will convert our signal into image using continuous wavelet transform, fast Fourier transform and there are many other techniques provided by this library. And this library claims to be much efficient than the other one such as pi wavelet, wavelet scipy or librosa. So let's install this library. The next step is to install Tim. Tim is basically a, you can understand it a reservoir of PyTorch model. It contain every each and every according to my knowledge model in PyTorch. There are hundreds of pre-trained models here so we are going to use one of them such uh, maybe ResNet, EfficientNet, VGG you can choose any one of these. This is quite a active repository and do not forget to give it a star. This is no doubt my favorite library in PyTorch. Let's wait for the libraries to be installed. This capture sign is basically a magic which do not allow the information to be printed. If you put this capture magic 
in the beginning of any cell the output of that cell would not be printed so that's why I put it in capture because I do not want to see the logs of installing these libraries. The next is I am defining a main path where my data is. My data is basically in this path so I am defining this path. When reading the file that is eg data I am combining this eg data dot csv with this path. And as you can see that I have read the file using read csv command from pandas and these are the first five rows. If you see this column, there are around 87 columns, but we are going to keep the around 14 plus 3 channels, 17 channels. First, two, we are going to keep first 16 channels and the last channel. So we need to remove the channel in between. So I'm going to select the channel that is between the range of 16 and the last channel. Last channel exclusive, that is minus 1. And we are going to set and we are going to select all channels which are in this range which means that which are in the range of 16 to minus 1 so all those are channels which are basically bands channels or bands column of alpha beta theta gamma are selected and now we are going to use the delta sign which shows that reverse this selection that if you select 16 channels this delta sign make sure that all other channels except those 16 channels are selected so we are going to select all channels which are not in our first 16 and last channel. So these are the channels which we are left with. First a video ID, subject ID, AF3, F7, F3 and subject under stood. One thing you have noticed that I have removed this EG dot from the channel name because the MNE library understand that what is AF3, what is the location of AF3 what is the location of F7 or F3 or FC5 because of 1020 international system but if I rename AF3 with eg.af3 then the MNE channel would not understand it I do not know why this is taking so much time so let's see that what are our labels our labels are 0 or 1 0 subject do not understand 1 subject understand in the next step we have to segregate the subject based on the subject ID and video ID. So I created a group by object which created a group on each video ID and subject ID. Let's say we have a video ID 0 and subject ID 0. This is one group. Video ID 0, subject ID 1. This is another group. Video ID 1, subject ID 0. This is a group. So we have created groups. Actually my internet is off, that's why it was not installing. Let <laughs> initialize the internet, convert the accelerator to GPU so that I can use GPU and now let install these packages again. Okay, all the packages have been installed and now we are going to run these cells and so you can see that we have around these group 00, zero which means that subject ID 0, video ID 0. Subject ID 0, video ID 1. Subject ID 1, that is this, and video ID 2. The next step is that let's take one group that is 0, 0 group, and we are going to drop the subject ID and video ID. Why I am doing that? Because I need only EG data for this subject 0 and video ID 0. Let me explain this again. What I want is to, for this subject ID 0 and video ID 0 that is for group 1 I want all the EG data so that I can convert this into MNE format if I have video ID and subject ID or label ID attached with this EG channel I can't convert into it into MNE format so I'm going to drop this subject ID and video ID because I already know, knew that that subject ID is 0 and video ID is 0 because I have selected the first group then I'm going to store the subject understood that is my label into a label variable after that I am going to keep the subject ID which I can take from the group number that the first element of group number is subject ID I can take it from here and after that I am also going to drop the subject understood so now I am only left with each channels data you can see that but the label and subject ID is stored in my 
variables. The next thing is I need to convert this CSV data frame into MNG format. So first I create a info variable from NM using MNE which contain all the channels name that is AF3, F7, F3, channel type which is AEG and the length of the channel that is basically if I do things like that this is contain a uh, let me do it this like way it will contain a list of 14 EEG because we have 14 channels and we have to define the channel type of each column let's say if we have EEG plus EMG data then we have to make few columns of EEG and the column that is related to EMG we have to mention that this is EMG data or EOG data and then we have to define what is our sampling frequency here I have not show that what is the sampling frequency of this data either I think it is 256 or it is 128 because the emotive epoch x channels has can have both 128 Hz or 250 Hz frequency and it depend and it depend upon the user that which frequency they want to use and I'm not sure which one this data is using so I'm going with 128 then we have to decide which montage we have to use this basically depend upon which EEG headset are you using the emotive epoch basically use 1020 international system then we have to convert our data which is basically this data frame into raw array which can be taken from mne.io why I'm using this .t I'm actually transposing this data set and then we have to set the eg reference what this is that what does this command do is that it take the average of all the channel and subtract that I think something like this then we can also filter the data once we have filtered data we can make fixed length epochs that what is the that convert our continuous data into segmented data with epoch length of three seconds in such a way that there is a there is an overlapping of two seconds the epoch dot the epochs dot get data get data basically convert your data from mne format into a numpy format so let me pass this group one variable which we have seen to this function convert df to mne and let's check this shape we have 16 epochs 14 channel and each epoch have a length of 384 how this 384 get, you get if you multiply 128 with I believe 3 you got this 384 and this is how we convert our data from data frame to MNE format and I have also shown you that how we can convert our data from MATLAB to this MNE format and now this is the time we have seen that how we can convert the data from CSV to MNE format. In the next video we will see that how we can convert this signal which is basically a one day signal because each channel have one dimensional data into a into an image. We will see that in the next video.